Hey, my friends, what's up, guys? Uh, just wanted to give a quick message to let everybody know that's really had heartfelt concern for us, and, and there's been quite a few, and uh, and and there's people that aren't so boisterous or righty, I guess I should say, uh, that they watch us and they, and they watch us close and we love you and we thank you for being concerned with us uh we signed the contract today we got to pick the keys up wednesday and boom we're gone uh got a moving truck lined up uh if you notice you're not hearing a bunch of noise in the background which is highly unusual um, waiting for it to start up, but it's 7.15 now. It's like the neighborhood knows we're going, and like maybe they were just doing this to us, but I know that, that wasn't really exactly what was going on. But uh, got the new place signed and sealed. Just got to get our stuff and get in there, and uh, we'll be set and can have some peace again. And get on a better track and move forward better. Uh, peace is so valuable, and when you got it, you and you consistently have it. You don't realize how good you got it till till you don't have it. And when you don't have it, you realize how precious it is. And we haven't had no peace since uh, the last week in December of this past year. So we're at the end of May here, so it's been quite a while uh, that we, we've literally had no peace, and when things have calmed down in this crazy-ass Colombian neighborhood, uh, I can't even lay down and really get a, a decent sleep because I'm anticipating the crazy to start in the middle of the night, so even when it's calm, I can't get the, uh, the peace that I need, so... I'm really needing this, and uh, we're all needing it. My wife's needing it, and Joe's needing it, and, uh, and all. So we're very thankful to the good Lord that we're getting the heck out, up out of here. And uh, real quickly, I want to reiterate with young boxers that are watching us. It's just a general statement out there. Punchers that you you got you got several kinds of punchers and uh, Some people are just born with a hell of a punch uh, So when they work on that punch boy, you know what would be a real good punch Just shoots up and it turns into a great great punch punching strength, right? They're the natural ones Joe really falls into that category. I'm very thankful for that. However, uh, this is not being talked about enough. And I'm not hearing young trainers talk about it and videos they're putting out. Maybe I'm missing a lot because I'm not watching it that much. But uh, the... Punching power can be easily developed through strength conditioning uh, and through leverage and different ways of body movement with the leverage. And you got to look and uh, right, you, you younger guys today, boy, you got YouTube. You can sit and just see a plethora of different options and you can pick out options that work for you uh, again I want to mention Tim Witherspoon's channel uh, because he's uh, very honest about the abilities he had and what he built upon and, and what he made into greatness so if he can do it anybody can See, uh, I I was born with a strong punch, and I'm nowhere near as big as Joe. So, uh, 
But I'm the guy that would go down to the uh, punch machine at the, I don't know, the arcade, as we used to call them, and win a whole bunch of tickets. And I, I, I thank the Lord every day that while Joe was growing up, every place we went in that had these punching machines, Joe would sit there and be able to watch his dad just get all these tickets out and win him prize after prize after prize and break the record each time on these machines. And folks, I ain't that big of a guy. Uh, but you can do that too. You can do that too. And uh, uh, I, some natural gifts, but some of it I had to really work on and uh you need if you need to work on your punch and strength you need to be on heavy bag you need to be on heavy bag just as much as possible and uh look at there there are some videos online but unfortunately i'm not seeing trainers i'm not i'm not seeing much of anything when I look at a lot of the gyms where I'm seeing these uh, trainers trying to work the techniques out to get harder punching out of their guys. Science-wise, oh my gosh, these trainers today are leaps and bounds uh, in, in defensive training are leaps and bounds to where it was when I was a young guy. But... Uh, Offensively, I don't know. I'd give a plug nickel for too much I see out there. A uh, whole lot of science going on, but not much pounding going on now. And uh, people need to get back into the pounding because we got some guys coming up that are pounders, and they're going to pound everybody. I don't know no other way to really put that. And I don't. I hope what I'm what I'm saying is coming out and making sense. If if uh, if if you have been told that you you don't have a great punch, or your punching power is uh, not there, don't fret over that for one damn second. Uh, if you got good technique, you move well, you defend well, uh, and you get your mind trained in sparring and in amateur boxing. To make sense while you're in the chaos, because that's all it is. It, it, it boils down to he who he who is going to control his own actions in the chaos of what the other guy's trying to do to them. Uh, that I mean, that's the ticket. But uh, other than that, uh, I want to see young guys punching harder. And that, we got some hard punchers out there that I watch and I applaud it. Uh, but you can improve all of that. And in the coming weeks, uh, I'm going to be cutting loose with some stuff to be helpful for folks that we do. Uh, not everything, not a whole lot, but I'm going to cut loose with some stuff uh, to help some of the younger boxers out and maybe it'll help them and maybe it won't uh, people are different and everybody's bodies are different and different and uh, people have have different strengths and weaknesses and that's the mark of a good trainer is being able to spot those things and being able to help the boxer uh, build up where he's weak see uh, that's the ticket at least in my book anyway, so, but, uh, uh, in the coming weeks, we're going to put out a little bit more, and, uh, Joe will be the test dummy, because he's a big dummy, just kidding, y'all, but, uh, I'm going to try to put some stuff out, and, uh, I'm going to ask, uh, I'm probably going, uh, who better to ask on how to incre increase a guy's technique? And I don't know what he can give away, but 
the bare knuckles champion Danny Christie himself. This guy can punch, boy. He's a puncher. And maybe I can ask him if he can help show all of us some of the little things that's maybe helped his punching. Uh, I don't really think he's needed a lot of help. He's a natural. I mean, this, this damn guy can hit, boy. Uh, I mean, he hits you and crap starts shattering like with Sonny Liston. Uh, this man is no joke. He is a puncher. And uh, plus he has great technique. You know, I mean, he's, he's a total package. But maybe uh, I can convince him or someone like him to help maybe put some stuff out and I can steer you to them. Uh, I think that would be more helpful than even me trying to show somebody how to increase their strength or what or what have you. And uh, my friend Bob in the UK, he's fixing to get in some uh, in some competitive fights, and I believe he's going to try some bare knuckle. Uh, I don't know, but maybe I can pick a thing or two out of him and uh, see what he may be willing to show us. And uh, and like I said, guys, I can steer you over to some of these guys that that I damn well sure know 100% can punch like nobody's news. So I'll try to get that out. Peace, love, and God bless you. And I hope everybody has a good evening.